And hello, Facebook friends! Peggy and I had a great day at the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. Um, she's sleeping right now, so I am filming myself. So I apologize for the improper uh, vertical filming. Um, you know, I prefer the widescreen where it takes up the full screen if you want it. But um, this is just easier this way when I'm filming myself. And um, we had a great day. I don't think the weather went past 84 degrees. Cool breeze. Um, we saw a lot of great shows. We ate really good food. And um, we left before the finale. Uh couple of reasons. Uh, everyone's going to rush there. We, we really did our best to social distance, which they did a fantastic job to enforce, and they enforced wearing masks. And um, Peggy has work in the morning, so, you know, she wanted to be home by 10, and I got her home by 9.15. So I wanted to try. I am going to butcher this pronunciation, so maybe my Spanish friends can help me. Bravucon Blanco Tequila. I probably didn't pronounce that right at all. But um, I don't know if he's the spokesperson or part owner, but that is Don Juan from uh, Don Juan and Miguel. And there's his little beard and mustache, and that's his hat. <laughs> And hello, Facebook friends! So I am here on Peggy's account uh, because there were some technical difficulties, and I apologize about that. So my friends, especially my friend Jesse, who is waiting for me to do this, I'm going to have to share it onto my page after this video is done. So um, sorry about that. But basically today, we went to the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. The weather was perfect. I don't think it passed 84 degrees. The breeze was cool. Uh, they did a wonderful job uh, enforcing the social distancing and um, wearing the masks. And uh, we had a great time, great shows, wonderful food. And uh, I tried curry ketchup today, which was excellent. Uh, with uh, bratwurst and french fries. Very tasty. So, Uncle John, hello. So, um, anyway, uh, we left the fair before the finale, which was okay because they had a variety show this year. I guess, you know, part of it was because of COVID. So we did see the variety show, which was excellent. Uh, we saw my favorite act, Don Juan and Miguel. Those guys are hilarious. And um, with the finale, everybody gets there. You know, this seating, a lot of, every other bench was uh, off limits for the social distancing. We figured instead of either standing or being too close to people, let's get the early head home. And Peggy does have work in the morning, so... Uh, that's, you know, that really helped. We got home by 9.15. So, I bought a couple bottles of this. I do not know how to pronounce it, so I know I'm going to butcher it. Bra Bravucon Blanco Tequila. Um, I don't know if it's made with 100% agave or not. It doesn't say. I hope it is. Uh, because I've found that's usually the best tasting tequila. And it's sponsored by this gentleman who is Don Juan from Don Juan and Miguel, the show I just mentioned. And I don't know if he owns the company or if he's their spokesperson, their model. I have no idea, but this is his hat and that's his trademark mustache and beard. Uh, if you call that little triangle beard. Um, 
Anyway, so I had this in the freezer since 9.30. It's probably about 11.50 now, probably a little later since I had technical difficulties and had to switch things around. And um, I just wanted to try it for you guys. Now, I did get a really cool mug at the fair, and I originally was going to try it in that, but then I realized it was an aluminum mug or tin, tin cup mug, whatever it was, decorated. It has a pirate theme, and I wasn't sure if the metal and the tequila would go too well, so I decided to go with my trusty glass that I know doesn't affect liquor. So... This is nice and cold. Again, it's, this has been in the freezer since 9.30. Now, I haven't done hard stuff in a while. That's not true. Wait a minute. A couple weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, I tried uh, that gingerbread rum from uh, Captain Morgan. Um... I wouldn't get it again. I like their regular spice rum better. It has a nice smell to it. It's not too overpowering. Again, I didn't see if it was made with 100% agave or not. But this says it's 40% alcohol, which makes it 80 proof. And this is a full liter. Uh, Peggy and I bought three of these today. One of them I plan to bring to one of my horror conventions for 2021. The other two are all for me. And um, this was about $36, if I remember correctly. $35, $36, which isn't bad because um, a smaller bottle of Patron that's smaller than this usually starts around $45. So... Let's start off with the smell. Again, you know, I'm out of practice drinking hard stuff, even though I did have that crappy rum a couple weeks ago. Let's, let's give this a little taste at first so I don't choke on film. <coughs> okay. Glad I didn't take a big... It has a strong kick to it. Um, I want to say for 40 for forty percent alcohol for 80 proof, um, which is pretty average for tequila, this is a little harsher than the Patron. It's not bad. It's not quite as smooth as I usually like my tequila. Um, there's like this harsh alcohol taste that's kind of fighting this, which kind of makes me feel like it's probably not 100% agave. I might be wrong. I don't want to misrepresent them. But there's something... Just not as smooth as what I'm accustomed to with your more popular tequilas. Yeah, it's a little it's a little rough around the edges. Not bad, and if you want to get drunk, this is going to do the job. So I'm going to pour myself a little bit more, and I am going to make a poor man's half-assed margarita. So, I got my tequila. I got my lime. Squeeze it in there really good. Got my salt. Shake in a good amount of salt. Swirl it. Margarita mix. Good stuff, tastes good. But if you want a quickie margarita, this poor man half ass concoction is pretty damn good. Now let's try it again.
that took the edge off. For mixed drinks, I can already tell this is going to be excellent. For margaritas and to mix with fruits and things, this is going to be really good. Personally, I think it's a little too harsh to do straight up unless you're an alcoholic and you just really want to mess yourself up. But that lime juice and the salt alone really took some of the bite off. And again, if it wasn't almost midnight on Labor Day night, or should I say uh, almost Tuesday during COVID, I would have uh, planned ahead and probably gotten some margarita mix, but that wasn't happening. So, mm, the salt, the, the lime juice goes really good with this. Um, I have to say, for, for $35, $36 for a full liter, this is not bad at all. Especially if you're going to make mixed drinks with it, which is what I'm going to be doing because this is just a little too rough around the edges for my taste. So guys, bottoms up. Wow. So much smoother that way. So I'm going to end the video here. Then after the video processes and everything, I'm going to share it on my page. Again, I apologize. I'm not doing this on my own account, but with all the technical problems, this was the quickest, easiest way to fix the problem. So, Uncle John, thank you for watching. And, um, guys, when you see this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you all had a wonderful Labor Day weekend, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.